Students call me Lama Linda, and I'm a Vajrayana Buddhist teacher who teaches for the Awaken in Toronto Sangha. This meditation practice is called the Dissolution of the Body at Death, one of my favorite death practices for imagining what's going to happen to all of us one day. So get yourself into a comfortable meditation position, either sitting or perhaps even lying down, listening to this practice, visualizing it as best you can. Dissolution of the body at death. Posture. A powerful way to do this practice is to lie down in what's called the sleeping lion position. This is the position that the Buddha assumed upon his dying. To do this, lie on your right side, legs slightly drawn up, curled a little bit in a fetus position. Your left arm is resting alongside your left side and your right hand is supporting your head with your hand holding your cheek. You may press your little finger against your right nostril to complete the posture. Make sure that you're comfortable and allow yourself to adjust your position as needed throughout this meditation. The top of your head, the fontanelle, is directed towards the image, real or visualized of your choice. The top of your head is connected to the crown chakra, the most important chakra at end of life. Visualize an image of your choice. Could be Buddha, could be Jesus, Muhammad, Abraham, something of a higher power, whatever comes to your mind, any being who represents to you the essence of awakened mind, of compassion, of love, of essential goodness, of what's often called Buddha nature. Your hope is that your consciousness when it leaves your body will leave through the top of your head, out the crown chakra, and will manifest as the essence of enlightenment. Practice. The mind. Let the mind become still. Let the breath become even and smooth. Focus your attention by abiding in your breath. As always in this kind of practice, whatever comes up, resistance or concern, grief or joy, boredom or story, narration or emptiness. Notice it, accept it, and then as always return to the breath. Although this is a specific practice of dying and is for dying, it is good to remember that meditation is always an opportunity to consider that we are dying, that we are releasing, that we are letting go completely that we are dissolving into spaciousness, dissolving into radiance, awakening. This particular practice involves the dissolution of not only the elements of our mind, but also the elements of our body, earth, water, fire, air, and then releasing into space. In releasing the elements of our identity, our egos, that compose what, you, what we know as I, we allow ourselves to dissolve our form, our feelings, our perceptions, our mental formations or conditioning, and ultimately to let go, or at least imagine letting go of what we know as our consciousness or consciousness. This practice is about awakening as the mental processes dissolve and as the physical processes of the body go through the transformation that we know as death. Concentrate on your breath and let your body relax deeply. Although this may put you at the edge of sleep, do not fall asleep. The purpose of this practice is to fall awake. 
At this time, all beings in one way or another are dying. Although some of us are closer to death than others, the time of our death is uncertain. If you are not actively dying at this time, imagine yourself as dying. And remember, on some level, you are in fact dying. One day closer to death. You have a sense of who you are as an identity. You are now going to release that distinct identity into spaciousness, into vastness, into what Buddhists call emptiness. Let yourself attend to your breath. Be in the breathing. Mark the out-breath with a slight increase of attention an increase of commitment to the breath of releasing, expiring, and letting go. Imagine that this is an actual description of dying, of your dying. Notice what goes on as you do this practice. Let each of the feelings and sensations come up for you, pass through your mind and body, be noticed, and then released. This practice is about awakening to your essential spaciousness, to awakened mind. The dissolution of earth into water and the unbinding of the body. Imagine that you are in your bed at home. You are dying. Friends and family are around you. You are barely aware of them you are somewhat agitated, as often happens in the dying process, and you accept this state of mind. Your body is thin and weak. You have lost much weight. You cannot get up. You cannot quite sit up. You cannot pick up anything. You do not have, nor do you need, the energy to do anything but simply be here. You are releasing this flesh and bone, this nerve and marrow. You are letting go as you die. Feel your body becoming heavy, pressed down by a great weight. There is a heaviness that is dense and deep going right to the core of your body. Let yourself be pressed down by the weight of death. As you become weaker, your body feels less defined, maybe even numb or separate from your mind. Your arms and legs feel not quite a part of you. It seems as if your legs could slip off your hip bone, your arms off your shoulders. Experience this body dissolving and melting. There is no distinction between the bed and you. It is as if you were sinking into water, disappearing. With this sinking feeling, comes an even greater sense of weakness and tiredness. The boundary between your body and spaciousness is beginning to dissolve. Wake up as this body lets go. Your senses are less attuned to the outside relative world. You are tuning inwards. Your sight is dim and dark. It's difficult to open and close your eyes. Your sensory grasp on the world is loosening. The outside world as you knew it is slipping away from you and you no longer care. Your blood pressure drops, your skin is pale, the blood withdraws into the central part of your body, your torso, the organs. 
There is no strength left now in was what in what was once this strong body. You are drowsy and weak with no interest in the outside world at all. You sink deeper and deeper into an undifferentiated mental state, one that was not previously known to you. Whatever visions you see appear like shimmering blue mirages. This is the dissolution of body and of our relationship to the physical world. These feelings of heaviness, drowsiness, numbness, being weighed down, the loss of definition, the withdrawal of color from our bodies, the loss of control, and our inability to see the form world around us. In this state of mind and body, be awake, effortlessly present. Fight the urge to fall asleep. The mind can be still and reflective as you wake up, as you let go. Be present as this body is dying. This body is not you. This is the dissolution of the element of earth as it sinks into water and form unbinds into feelings. The dissolution of the water element into fire and the unbinding of feelings Feel your body dissolving. As you are letting go, your hearing is diminished, diminished and you sink into an undifferentiated state of mind. You have now lost control of the fluids in your body. Your nose is running. Saliva is leaking out of your mouth. There is a watery discharge coming out of your eyes. It is difficult for you to hold your urine. Your generative fluids have dried up. Your skin is clammy. Your mouth is dry. As fluids leave the body, the body becomes parched. Your skin is papery, almost see-through and easily bruised. Your mouth is drawn and your lips are chapped, so dry. Your tongue is thick, sticky, and heavy. Your throat is scratchy and clogged. Your nostrils seem to cave in, burning with dryness as you inhale. Your eyes feel sandy and sting. You are not passing much urine. You have a thirst that no amount of water can quench. Moisture is leaving your body, never to return. Wake up as you are desiccating. Let go fully into this dryness. Release the fluid element of your body, the element of water and of feeling. Your mind is hazy and you are somewhat irritable. You have ceased to experience pain, pleasure, or even indifference. You do not have feelings related to happiness or unhappiness. You are beyond all of this. You are numb and do not differentiate between physical and mental impressions. Those kinds of distinctions are not important to you now. When you look behind your eyes, you see a vision of swirling smoke. See this haziness that dissolves all differences. The water element is dissolving into fire. This is the end of your responsiveness to phenomena of any kind. As you let go, wake up 
in this vision of swirling smoke. The dissolution of the fire element into air and the unbinding of perceptions. As the fire element of your body begins to dissolve into air, your body feels cool. Heat withdraws from your feet and hands into the body's core. Your breath is cold as it passes through your nose and mouth. Your mouth, nose, and eyes dry out even more. Your ability to perceive is further diminished. The fire element is dissolving into the element of air. You cannot smell anything. You are not hungry, nor can you digest food. You cannot drink or swallow. The in-breath is less strong and the out-breath is longer. Your mental perceptions alternate between lucidity and confusion often going in and out between lucidity and confusion. You cannot see, hear, taste, touch, or smell as the sense fields fade away. Your in-breath is short, your out-breath is long. You cannot remember the names of your loved ones in this lifetime, and you cannot recognize those around you. You have lost any sense of purpose in your life and have no interest in what's going on around you anymore. You may feel as if you are being consumed in a blaze of fire that rises into space. Let go into this fire and see it as your mind releasing itself. Or you may see a vision of sparks, almost like fireflies on a summer's day. Wake up in this vision of shimmering sparks behind your eyes. Let go and see yourself as you are. Let yourself discern the truth of dying this is the dissolution of the fire element into air and the unbinding of your ability to perceive. The dissolution of the wind element into space and the unbinding of mental formations. You now have given up any sense of volition. There is nowhere to go, nothing to do. Accept this aimlessness free of meaning and purpose. You are at last free of these pressures. There is nothing left to do in this lifetime. Your in-breath is short. Your out-breath is long. Your mind no longer aware of the outside world. As the element of air is dissolved, you are having visions, seeing things. Your visions may be jewel-like, wondrous, and filled with insight that can never be expressed. These visions relate to who you are and how you have lived this lifetime. You may be seeing your family or your ancestors in a peaceful setting you may be seeing beautiful people, saints, bodhisattvas, or friends welcoming you. They may have died previously ahead of you. You may be reliving countless pleasant experiences from your past lifetime. Or you may have demonic and hellish visions if you have hurt others in this lifetime, those whom you have injured may appear to you at this time. Difficult and dreadful moments of your life may arise to haunt you. 
you may see people with whom you've had negative interactions attacking you. You may even cry out in fear or anger. Do not identify with these visions. Simply let them be. The element of air is dissolving. You do not have to do anything. Just practice this breath of release and let go of everything. Your tongue is thick and heavy. Its root is blue. You have lost your taste for life, for living, as you lose the sense of taste. You cannot feel texture or body sensations. You do not associate with the body any longer. Your body is barely moving. The last energy of your body is withdrawing now to your body's core. Whatever heat left in your body now resides in the area of the heart. The in-breath is short, a mere sip of air. The out-breath is long and uneven, perhaps with gaps in between. Your eyes, gazing into emptiness, roll upward. No intellect is present. Consciousness at this point is reduced to a smaller and smaller entity. Three rounds of respiration. Your body lifts slightly to meet the breath, which does not enter. Your mental functions cease altogether. Consciousness has dissolved into space. The perception from the outside is that you are dead. You have died. Breathing has stopped. Brain function has stopped. The body feels no sensation. Know this state of emptiness. Know this stillness and surrender to it. Experience it. This is the element of wind dissolving into space. Become space. At the moment of physical death, one sees the small flickering flame like a candle. Now it is suddenly extinguished and you are without any awareness. You are without any light. The inner dissolutions. From the crown, a white drop is propelled by the inner winds downward through the central channel towards the heart. This is the male essence and anger transforms into profound clarity. You're, you experience an immaculate autumn sky filled with brilliant sunlight. A red drop from the base of the spine is propelled upward through the central channel towards the heart. This is the female essence and desire transforms into profound bliss. You experience a vast and clear copper red autumn sky of dusk. The white and red drops, the bindus, meet in the heart and surround your consciousness. The winds enter your consciousness. You are now freed from the conceptual mind. Thick darkness, like a deep autumn night sky, appears. You dissolve into unconsciousness, undifferentiated consciousness. Out of this nothingness, luminescence arises. You are one with a clear dawn sky,
free of sunlight, moonlight, and darkness. You are bliss and clarity. You are spaciousness and radiance. Now the clear light of presence is liberated, the mother light of your awareness. This is your ultimate great perfection. This is the actual moment of death. Take a moment to review this practice and what has come up for you today, this time. And when you have done so, you can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, feel yourself returning to a solid body and open your eyes. Much thankfulness to Joan Halifax Roshi for help with this practice and uh, may it bring great insight and awareness to all.